Okay, let's start, Veronica, with you. What were your first observations about the bill? Well, first of all, the bill is almost impossible to read without laying it out in front of like 15 people with about 400 cartographers there to try to figure out the cross-references. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. But the interesting thing is that the plan has um, uh, a clause which requires insurers provide plan documents that are in plain language, okay, and I quote, it says, it has to be clean, so I guess no four-letter words, mm, good. Um, <laughs> concise, well-organized, and follows best practices of plan language writing. It's too bad Congress doesn't have the same requirement. <laughs> <laughs> 2,500 uh, pages, and it's concise. <laughs> Oh, yeah, perfect. Uh, let me ask you this. Do you feel now more secure under this bill compared to uh, the coverage that you have now, healthcare-wise? Well, I was glad to see that if I lose my job, um, that I, and I can't afford health insurance, that I, I, there's actually a tax on the people who can't afford acceptable health care, which is a little, you know, it's kind of fun. Um, the problem is that the acceptable health care coverage includes, again, substance use disorder services, which I'm sure being unemployed, I really can't afford drugs. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> I also have to have maternity, uh, maternity care, well baby, and well child care. So I guess with all my time off, they'll figure I'll just uh, do drugs, get a uh, hookup, and get pregnant. So, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> so I might as well have good health coverage, right? Yeah, yeah. All right. Veronica Mosey. Yeah. <laughs>